Can you earn 100% returns on your buy and hold real estate? No per, way, no per way. Per year? No way. Is that a scam no of a pie in the sky or is that reality? In this video, we're gonna break it down. All right, so back again with Chris Crone so in our series on building wealth. And Chris and I were just talking and he made a big, bold claim. Yep. I want to know if it's real or not. He was talking about earning 100% returns per year on his buy and hold real estate. Well, dude, if you think that's crazy, I'm actually going to talk about how you can earn 1,000%. And now you know, people are like, yeah, whatever, dude. This just got totally unlegit. Right. Or your eyes are glued to the screen and you cannot let go. Yeah, well, if this is real, I want to understand it better. Because yeah. literally when I hear that, I'm thinking, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Should but, I prove it? But, but I also know, I also know that you got a track record. And I also know what's possible in real estate. So let's just, let's just show me. All right. How is it possible? How does it work? Get, get scared, get stupid. I don't know what that means. So what I want to do here is a thousand percent, a hundred percent. It sounds like a lot, but I want, I want to cite your mind to something that Albert Einstein said. He said that the most powerful financial instrument that was ever created, ever will be created is compound interest. And a lot of people don't know what that means because we're too busy sucking at earning money. We put money in <laughs> 401ks and IRAs in the bank and our brains are washed to think that um, a half a percent or a percent or 4% is like exciting. That doesn't compound a squat over a 40 or 50 year working life. So we have to do the game different. When I buy a piece of real estate, Cody, if I'm gonna kind of prove this out for you, um, my average rate of return on my last thousand properties is 28%. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that that's not 100%. Just hang tight, we're gonna get there. Um, first of all, how am I doing this 28%? Well, remember, I'm not investing in just any of the 324 markets, I'm investing in the best markets. And so best markets naturally produce higher ROI, and then I have expert management on buying the homes at the best rates, the least amount of rehab, the highest cash flow, and at the end of the day, when you add it up on my last thousand deals, we're looking at 28%. So how can we turn that into 100%? Well. If you're earning 28%, we'll make the math real simple. Let's just drop it down and say that we were actually earning 20% a year on our money, right? A much smaller number, but 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 is 100. And that happened over one, two, three, four, five years. In five years, making 100% means that your investment doubles. So let's just say for a moment that I pull money out of 401k or IRA or home equity, and that I put $30,000 into this property. And I now I'm earning 20% on it. Well, in five years, I'm going to sell that property. And the reason why is because over time it starts getting a diminished level of return and I want to keep my ROI high. So what I'm going to do is my 30 grand in five years will have theoretically here in this example doubled, which means in five years, I'm going to sell this home and I'm going to use the money to now not buy one home, but two homes but on the same original investment. My same original investment is no longer earning 20%, it's earning double that. It's now earning 40%. Or if we were going with actual numbers, we're well over 50%. That is halfway to 100%. All we need is a little bit more time. So if it took five years to double, guess what happens in five more years? We sell these off, we double things again, we now have four properties. And on our original investment, we're now earning somewhere around 100% a year. So first of all, before I explain how we do 1,000%, oh. that's how you get to 100. It's real and it's in 10 years. And you know what, for someone that says, I wonder if I could retire in real estate inside of 10 years. Cody, is that possible? Yeah, that's what people, absolutely. You did it, yeah, people do I've it done it, people do it, right? So we're, we're talking about real stuff, but now I wanna melt your brain with something really kind of crazy. After I had a track record, I had done a handful of deals. My father-in-law, who thought I was kind of crazy in the beginning when I bought my first house, because I was, I was 23 years old, I was in college. I told him, hey, guess what? I'm not gonna be a doctor because I'm too stupid at chemistry and I don't know what I'm gonna do. By the way, I'm buying a house. And I remember he was just like, what's wrong with you? And then a year later, I buy my second house and he's like, are you guys getting a divorce? Like, he didn't understand. Like, why would you need two houses? Well, by the time I bought my third house, he kind of wrote me off as that crazy son-in-law. He only had one at the time, but a crazy one. And then when I got my fourth house, something weird happened. I started to have a track record. And I'll never forget when he approached me and said, Chris, 
what are you doing? Like, why do you keep buying houses? What are you doing? I said, well, Matt, I buy them and I rent them. And he said, well, how much money are you making? And he started looking at my returns. And you know what he thought? Oh my gosh, this kid is freaking kicking the trash out of my 401ks and IRAs. He's onto something and he got some FOMO, fear of missing out. And he's like, I got to jump in on this. So we started buying real estate together. Now check this out. We bought a house. The house required $20,000. Guess who put up the money? My father-in-law. Guess what I did? I found the deal, I managed it. And when we were done, we sold that home and we turned 20,000 and in six months we had turned it into $40,000. We doubled the money. And my father-in-law, he was calculating his ROI. Let's do the math. If he doubled his money, that's 100%, but he did it in six months. So if we wanna look at it annualized, he did 200% on his money. But guess how much don't, money I made? Don't say it. I don't say it. I'm gonna say it, dude. Don't I, say I it. Put a penny Actually, in. say it. I'm gonna say it. I made an infinite return, way over a thousand percent, because I put. Oh! I put zero in. <laughs> and that's what I got out. So, by the way, um, literally on my real estate, I'm often earning one thousand, two thousand, ten thousand percent returns because I've learned this level of the game, which by the way, you can learn too. So Cody, by the way, is it possible to earn 100%? Dude, 100% is easy with the right strategy and the right time, but then if you get really good at the strategy, ah! Infinite, then infinite it's, baby. Then it's crazy, it's Don't what you it love should them. be. In this the game is what's cool about real estate. Look, wealthy people, put their money to work for them. They yep. don't work for money. Oh. Wealthy people know how to leverage debt in order to build wealth. Yes. And what you just modeled out was the perfect example of how wealthy people think and yeah. act and why so many people are stuck in the rat race and those that are smart enough to see something like this and then actually go out and do something with that knowledge, that information, yep. break free. But let's be honest, let's, let's face the hard reality. Cody, the reality is someone's watching this and their mind's like, but they're thinking at the same time, how? how could I do it? Or it's never going to be me or it's too hard or it's going to take too much time. And I just want to tell you something right now. That is true for all the rest of the normal people. But I want you to ask yourself, are you normal? Did you come here to be like a level five out of level 10? I'll tell you something right now. You came here a 10 and you should be leaving here a 10 and you can do this. It's just level 10 living. And so I like that. we provided some tools and resources that actually make this a lot easier. Down below this video, you're going to actually access what it would look like to partner with Cody and I on brand new wealth building tools and resources. Just imagine for a moment if someone on our team found you the very best deals in the very best markets and imagine if that team would help you buy them, manage them and take care of them. It'd be like stress-free real estate investing. Yeah, it would be. Can you imagine? Well, I've only done it thousands of times and like can you, can you it's imagine? real. This is this is like this is real stuff. I like it. Yeah. But what do I got to do? I got to take action. Click the link down below so you can learn more. I mean, right now the most important thing that you can do is once you become intrigued, go do your research. Yeah. Right? You know, force us to prove that we know what we're doing. Don't just take our word for it. Go down there and take the time and go through everything that Chris and I put together. So that way you can see for yourself exactly what's going on, what markets that we're, we're focusing on, how we're putting everything together, the types of returns you yes. can get, and what it takes to actually get out there and do it. Because I'm telling you right now, you'd be surprised how many people can and should be doing this, but they have money parked in the stupidest places. Uh, yeah, that's don't just get me not started getting again, them what get they angry. need. So anyways, we don't have any more time in this video, but you know, three videos in a row, baby. What's we, up, we, man? We killed it. We killed it. Dude. We killed it. Oh, whoa. We killed it. Whoa. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like I could just run from the side and just. Whoa! You're supposed to <laughs> catch, catch me, John. We're gonna, we're wait, gonna do wait, this here, we go, here we go. Here we go. What's right, up, so baby? Here's what we're gonna do. Click the link down below. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. This is super awkward. <laughs> it's really weird. Do something. Thank you for putting me down gently. You're fat. <laughs> I am. I just always wanted to say I, that. I so. am. You know what? It's Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm blaming the donut maker. Mm. I can't say no. Yeah, it's, the Krispy it's Kreme, impossible. They're, they're, they're wicked. Don't, my wife should know these things too, by the way. And she still buys them. All the time. Oh. They just magically appear. Stop. Click the link. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Like. Boom. Dislike. Boom. Don't dislike. Don't dislike. Good. But it's time Shit. for us to go now because this is starting to get a little creepy. 
Awkward. And uh, yeah. Till next time. I'm Chris Herbert, the clever investor. Why did I say it like I that? I don't even know. Clever investor. Signing off for now. With Chris Chrome. With Chris Chrome. Take care. Comb your hair. We're out.